What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 coming to you. It is Thursday, September 14th. I believe it's the 14th. If it's not, I apologize, but welcome back to the show. Today I'm just giving you a quick update of what's going on. We're going to be talking about this. It's going to be a short little episode. We got the Crispino lettuce and I'm a huge fan. Let's actually take a closer look at this lettuce. It is freaking so good. So when I actually got the picture and I actually bought the seeds of this guy, I mean like these things grow like super tight and super tower like. That's what they advertised. And that's not what I got. But I'm super excited about how this came out, honestly. Each, um, each little bouquet is really nice. And uh, this, I actually really love this lettuce for one reason. Number one, it's really nice and green. Now you guys, if you guys are, some of you guys are all about nutrition. If you're eating something that's not green, re green is life, okay? If you're eating something that is more whitish or just not, you know, basically when you got colors like that, when you got colors like this, vivid or green, you are talking about life packed with nutrition. I love these things. And the best thing about it is they're nice and crunchy. It doesn't have that butter lettuce feel. This is more of a, it's not a romaine, but it's honestly got that type of texture. And because it is like so nourished in this little environment, they're more frail. The leaves are just uh, are just softer, but overall, this has a really nice texture to it, and I um, I've been kind of picking off a few leaves here and there, and uh, I've I've noticed I really like this lettuce. Hold on one second. Yeah, that's really good. It, right now is the time to start shopping this down. Now, as you can see here, I've been actually going to town on this stuff. I left a little bit behind there. I actually went on vacation uh, last week, so. Um, and this was just in the early stages, but also I got some down here by accident. As you see there, I actually um, left this little area open. I actually closed my tent. You guys can see my tent. Pretty, pretty large if you guys are new to the channel. I have a huge tent and everything is kind of inside here. And I actually used this little, um, this little lock at the bottom to close the tent because my cats, they like to uh, go inside. It's a little warm in here. And especially, it's dangerous for me when I have plants at the bottom there because they get in there. My one cat is like a vegetarian. I don't know what's up with him, but he loves lettuce. So he, he likes to sneak up in here and just chomp on it a little bit. It's super cute watching him do it. Maybe I'll fil film him eating lettuce one day. Literally titled, Cats Eat Vegetarian Cat Loves Lettuce. That's next video for sure. Um, overall, I definitely have to completely replenish my entire tent. I really don't have much going on here. I'm gonna, I could probably go through this in like three days, you know, and make a decent salad. Literally, I come in here, I take my scissors, chop off the head, literally just hold it like this, and literally just snip, 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 right into a bowl, boom, I got a salad. It's fantastic. Um, you know, honestly, these type of rooms, uh, if you have electricity, it's awesome. You know, all the crazy stuff going on in the world today. Everybody out in Florida, if you know, if you have family out in Florida, you know, uh, I, I definitely feel you guys and we're, we're praying for those people over there. And, uh, you know, not that they would be able to sustain something like this, but you never know in certain circumstances, if you are in a crisis and you're not able to get to food, you know you got some food inside your own home if it's a, you know if it's a not a disaster zone it's completely unfortunate what's going on over there but uh again this is a quick check-in right before the weekend uh maybe i'll start germinating a whole different plethora of seeds in the next few days and definitely fill you guys in on um on some of the new seeds that i'm going to be putting in i I'm gonna. I have. I want. I want to do so much, but this just takes so much time. It does really take a lot of dedication. Um, I really want to just designate a huge thing for microgreens. I know nothing about microgreens. I might have mentioned this in my earlier videos last week. I bought some microgreen seeds. I have an idea. I mean, it's pretty simplified of what you need to do. Um, I have some. I looked into a couple things. Or I did some research. I really like what I saw. Um, the overall, basically the yield that I could get from the microgreens and uh, the way that 
it's kind of structured. You can buy some devices that lets you minimize overseeding because if you kind of actually go like this with the seeds with your hands, you can get clumped areas and those clumped areas will result in mold spores because uh, they're, the, the seeds will not have a, a proper way of germinate, uh, actually just germinating inside. So I will check that out and I probably will do an experiment in the next few days just to try it out. I'm still looking for that growing medium for the um, for the microgreens. I found some stuff, but I mean, like, I don't want to be paying per sheet a lot of money. It's just ridiculous. But I actually have to look at how much am I spending per little grow medium cube, per how many there are, how much it costs, and then, you know, kind of see about how much each sheet costs and how many microgreens I could get. I mean, you, you could literally live off those things. Um, so everything's looking good in here. If you guys got any questions, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you're sharing these videos and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys here in the next one. Just giving you a quick update on what's going on. This is my Crispino lettuce. Today is Thursday, September 14th. I hope you all have a good weekend.